Priority Threat Management is a decision-making framework that facilitates the rapid identification of effective strategies, taking into consideration the costs, benefits, and feasibility of conservation action. WWF Canada's approach to PTM prioritizes which strategies will have the greatest benefit for the most species. WWF Canada is on site today with Ben Whalen, project manager for the Kennebecasis Watershed Restoration Committee. The KWRC is tackling a 10-day restoration project, a conservation activity that was identified through WWF Canada's Priority Threat Management Analysis. Passenkey Creek is suffering from some degraded or riparian zones, degraded stream banks are heavily eroding here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use green infrastructure to stabilize those banks, reconnect the stream more efficiently to its floodplain, shade the stream so that more aquatic habitat is present and over time hopefully we'll buffer the stream temperatures as well. One of the biggest threats for river systems or aquatic ecosystems in the face of climate change is elevated stream temperatures. As the waters start to warm up, your overall ecosystem goes through changes and actually starts to degrade. Warm water is typically less pure, less clean. So this project is going to allow us to, again, buffer off some of those sediments, clean out some of those sediments and nutrients before they enter the stream. It's also going to provide shade to the system and keep it cool. On another level, we're gonna be planting some trees in here as well and creating some site diversity. And that site diversity is going to allow the overall ecosystem here to perform better. If you know one tree species dies off due to climate change, another one will hopefully be there to take its place. Restoration of habitat is key to ensuring the resiliency of our ecosystems, especially in the face of climate change. This is just one of three other projects that are taking place under this project right now. Uh, the Nash Walk is undertaking a project and ACAP St. John are undertaking a project as well as part of this. And it's those kinds of collaborations and that kind of cooperation where the watershed groups really can play a valuable role.